Now that we've had a look at a smart guide, let's take a quick peek at what it takes to build one of these processes. Let's drill down on that into the list view and see what it looks like to build. Now that we're in the Smart Guide template builder, you can notice the interactive quick deal. It's marked active. It's applied to the opportunities module, who is the current user that gets applied to the system as a target assignee. Down below, you can see the steps that we were investigating earlier. Let's go ahead and drill down on this particular item and take a look at what it takes to build out. In this instance, you see it's a task assigned internally and it's worth 10 points. It can be blocked by which means do we have it blocked by the preceding stage that we have to book the presentation before we can take this task. If so, we can apply that here. So therefore you cannot progress the opportunity or do ste steps out of order. Additionally, are there different assignee roles? I can go in and assign it to a specific user or a different team. Down below we have suggested start date. Also you notice the due date is measured based on one day after the previous step being completed. And lastly you notice the action button that was embedded within the step to launch to the view. This says related sugar actions is to update the account information. Here's the send final quotation step. In this case, I need to add a different user into the target assignee for this because the sales user isn't the person responsible for sending a quote. So as you can see, building these processes out is fairly simple. It doesn't require any coding whatsoever. It's really just follow the editor and follow the process through. Another area of processes that can be done to automate the system and provide notifications is accomplished through process definitions. Let's take a moment and look at what it takes to notify a seller if there's a stagnant opportunity. In this case, we have new opportunities and updated opportunities, and it's looking at conditions such as close date and have current and expected close dates on all opportunities. Sales reps can get reminders if that date has slipped. These rules when invoked and notifying sales reps can also be pushed up through the notifications window here in the ever-presence bubble of notifications. They can also be delivered through the dashboard.